Elon Musk tends to gravitate between brilliant and crazy, making him a lot of fun to watch if you aren't an investor. One recent rumor that Musk has been emphasizing is creating a Tesla phone with a unique feature set. That, of course, will largely affect the Apple phone market. Tesla and Apple have a similar approach to their respective markets and both enjoy similar advantages, but for their phones, the differences seem to be too loud. Apple was built by a charismatic leader, Steve Jobs, and Elon Musk has done a better job of mirroring Jobs' unique approach to management and product creation than Tim Cook. Both companies have impressive brand loyalty with their customers, exact market valuations, and several large companies gunning for them. Today, we will compare how Starlink's internet will work on Tesla's phone versus how 5G internet operates on iPhone. Buckle up if you're a tech nerd. This is what you've been waiting for. Tesla doesn't do much marketing and has a history of poor quality control. While Apple has reduced its marketing substantially, it still essentially leads its market in this regard, and Apple tends to set the bar in terms of product quality. The rumored Tesla phone is expected to have Qualcomm's high-end Snapdragon 8 series solution. Colors that match Tesla car colors operate better as a car key for Tesla autos than any other phone and connect to Starlink. This last is iffy because typically getting a smartphone to connect to a satellite requires a large antenna and a far more powerful radio. But guys, we are talking about Elon Musk here, the most innovative guy still breathing today. Tesla's Model Pi phone and Apple's Phone 13 Pro both are on the verge of brilliance, making it hard to decide which one is best in their respective features. The amazing Tesla Model Pi mobile phone is another Elon Musk-inspired device to glance forward to for Tesla fans. The smartphone, meanwhile, will have to contend with some other smartphones in the market, such as Apple's famous iPhone. Apple has become a household name because it sells quite as many smartphones as possible. The Cupertino-based corporation sold about 200 million smartphones worldwide in 2020. There's really no denying that Apple does many great things with its iPhones, which it refreshes every year. It is nevertheless almost certain to welcome a new challenger, the world's richest billionaire who seems to have virtually limitless resources to invest forward his innovative products, is backing this current contest. The Starlink integration will be the most attractive feature of the Model Pi phone. SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service will be compatible with the Tesla smartphone. High-speed internet will be provided straight from the satellite, even in rural areas. This smartphone's speed will be unrivaled in the industry. Furthermore, we may use the phone on Mars and speak with individuals on Earth thanks to the Starlink connection. This will undoubtedly be the ideal complement to Tesla's devices. The Tesla Pi phone possesses all it needs to be successful with Musk's support, even though he has a long history of making whatever he handles reality. Millions of Musk enthusiasts surely prefer to use a phone designed by Musk to complement their other Tesla items. On the other hand, the latest iPhone relies on 5G for internet transmission. If you aren't aware of anything regarding this technology, well, here's an overview. First comes the 5G network connectivity, also referred to as the fifth generation mobile network a wireless mobile network that comes after the 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks. Now that we're also used to 4G and have seen how much of an upgrade it was over 3G, the expectations from 5G are the same. However, the thing is that it not only fulfills the expectation, but it also exceeds them way beyond your imagination. Theoretically, 5G is supposed to reach speeds that are 20 times faster than 4G LTE. So if your 4G connectivity gives you a download speed of 10 Mbps, 5G is more likely to provide you with a speed of 200 Mbps. This means that it has the power to download 1 gigabyte plus movies in seconds. On the other hand, Starlink has a mission to cover the entire globe with a constellation of satellites, offering internet access to literally every person on Earth. The company plans to install an army of 42,000 satellites to develop an entire grid in the Earth's lower orbit, thus ensuring Tesla phone users are well connected to all corners of the world. The internet speed that Starlink intends to reach is around 1 gigabit per second, which is not bad, but very less compared to 5G. But it is still 10 times faster than 4G LTE, which offers 100 megabits per second. Put simply, it is definitely an upgrade than anything we are using at this moment. And as always, all that glitters is definitely not gold, at least not all the time. There are some downsides to Starlink's potential mobile connection and even 5G. First, where you live will probably determine whether you get better internet from Starlink or 5G. 
SpaceX's Starlink is a satellite internet service, which means it works best with a clear view of the sky in wide open spaces. Storms, trees, buildings, snow, or any other natural or artificial obstruction can weaken the signal or drop the internet connection altogether. Data packets and other virtual information literally get beamed down from space, so if any of that stuff gets in the way, your internet is probably going to get a bit spotty. Not only that, but there's a finite amount of bandwidth that a satellite can provide to users, so too many users connecting to a terminal means slower internet speeds at home. 5G has an advantage over Starlink in terms of reliable service because it's built on top of existing cellular infrastructure. To get 5G service at home, you have to stick an antenna or a small receiver or transmitter on your house, which can then ping a 5G antenna on a nearby cell tower. The 5G signal beams into your home, and then a Wi-Fi router blankets your space with wireless internet, which then you can use on your iPhone. The more the satellites in the sky, the stronger the 5G omnipresent. Many think that Starlink and 5G are competitive. At least soon, 5G will be implemented in almost all urban areas. Starlink will target the remote areas that have poor broadband internet access. Starlink will be the only best and well-functioning service providing internet access to these people. If Starlink is unlimited and the 5G is limited or capped, Starlink will obviously be superior. Well, apart from connecting to Starlink internet, another fantastic feature of the Tesla Pi phone is the function of connecting your brain to the phone. Neuralink is a feature that has the potential to make this smartphone a colossal hit. This is another Elon Musk firm specializing in reading information from the human brain and using chips to help restore some brain functions. This will undoubtedly be a pivotal event for the smartphone industry. If you're unable to speak as a result of a severe vehicle accident, for example, this might save your life. It is pretty futuristic at the moment, but definitely worth the wait. This feature will definitely rely on the internet speed available on the phone. Neuralink is a Tesla Pi phone feature that none of the innovative phone technology companies like Samsung or Apple have yet to figure out. Conclusively, 5G connectivity allows for faster download speeds and upload speeds, which speeds up everything from loading websites to downloading TV shows and movies. It also increases bandwidth for streaming services so you can watch in a higher resolution, and it brings improved FaceTime call quality. Over 5G or Wi-Fi, FaceTime calls work in 180p. In areas where LTE speeds are slow because of the sheer number of people, 5G frees up bandwidth and reduces congestion for faster usage speeds. As for Musk, building his own smartphone could allow Tesla to offer the same kind of symbiosis with Starlink, the SpaceX satellite service. Musk is eager to find a way to fund his Mars colonization project. Starlink has the potential to do that, and so is his smartphone project. Of course, consumers won't buy satellites directly. However, by creating a smartphone designed to connect with Starlink, Musk would be able to sell a product to directly leverage his satellite network. So, what is the benefit of doing this, one may ask? Normal cell phone makers don't have their own cell phone networks, and most cell phone network operators only operate within a particular country. Starlink could open the door to something nobody has done before, offer cheap, global, high-speed, low-latency smartphone service. You could connect with a cell phone from the middle of the desert and place a call anywhere in the world. Who wouldn't want that? One cannot help but be in awe of the power of dreams. Perhaps in a couple of years, you'll hold one of the most amazing smartphones in your hands. It will all be because several decades ago, a boy looked up at the stars and dreamt of Mars. Would you settle for the Tesla phone if it makes it past the production stage? Let us know in the comments section down below.